Okay, is it time? I feel like I'm a cringe, man. I hate when it's like something about like me, you know? It's like your mom says like to their friends like, yeah, and like he got really good grades in school. Like he's, he did a really great job, didn't you? Bro, like, how? Uh, guys, I can't. How CSGO biggest skin degenerate turned his fandom into fame. <laughs> guys, is this a roast or is this degenerate? Am I degenerate? I mean, it is pretty true. Let's see. To many gamers out there, there's only one thing more- I put sound a little bit louder. Has a lot of likes. Chad, will I cringe or no? Okay, let's see. And by the way, they did call me for this. Like, I did have a Discord call with one of the guys from the score. Absolutely super cool guy, by the way. I asked him what's his favorite skin. He collects high float print streams, which is super cool. Lovely guys. Crazy that they even made this, by the way. I just wanted to say that first. I also was like, what? Like, a video? Like, for what? I, I didn't think I would deserve, like, a video. Like, why do I need a, a video like this? But kuss, 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 bro. Absolute legends. Let's see. To many gamers out there, there's only one thing more important than victory. And that is having dope ass skins. Nah, the river is dog shit, dude. River is straight dog. Lens uses that op? Why don't you say that in the first place? But having the <laughs> latest and greatest cosmetics isn't enough. If you take yourself seriously as a connoisseur, you must also have the rarest skins imaginable. Oh my god! What the is that? So, it should come as no surprise that many of us dish out our hard-earned cash to have just a slim chance of unboxing some of gaming's most coveted items. Ah, thank you so much, MacGyver. It means a lot. There is a giveaway from Adam Chimes for a cus- HOLY F***ING sh ARE YOU SERIOUS?! And no game stokes our obsession- TENS! ...with rare and unique skins quite like CSGO. Oh! Okay! Who got a knife? Huh? Hey. I did. But even Chad, who remembers that moment when Shroud got a M9 Doppler and normally got an M9 Doppler exactly the same knife in the same minute or something like that? It was absolutely crazy. And then they like listed the items on the market and they always underbid a little bit. Crazy, crazy. Part of CSGO history, bro. Mm -mm. I did. But even among the most degenerate, one man has risen as CSGO's most. Let's say, bro, I hate seeing it, bro. I feel so cringe, man. Energetic skin enthusiast. Tight Lolo, you sexy beast, bro. Tight Lolo, you sexy beast, bro, please. Tight Lolo, Tight Lolo, Twins, Tight Lolo, Tight Lolo, Tight Lolo. Now I'm thinking, what are the people thinking that are sub to the score esports, right? They have like millions of subs that just like are interested in esports, right? Like, oh yeah, what is Simple up to? What is Shroud doing? He just brought out a Logitech mouse, no? And then I'm over here, like, Tight Lolo! <laughs> Bro, they must think I'm f***ing stupid, no? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. I mean, it could have been worse. Meet Onepixel, a German skin-obsessed CSGO diehard who recently became one of the community's most beloved content creators. Both for his deeply relatable love of rare Bro, how many knives did it open? What the f***? There's so many clips of knife openings. For his unique personality. I wish I was that body touch chat. The hole is always. Ha ha ha. Oh my. I have a nine, bro. I should take that. Guys, oh man. Right there, and it's sometimes it's scratchy. The worse the float, the, the dirtier the hole, and the hole is always in the middle of the screen, right? This is why you want to have a clean hole like this one. But how did Oni's obsession with skins help him stand out in a sea of cosmetic consumed content creators? And how has he been able to diversify his content while still remaining one of the game's most passionate fanboys? Are you ready? Yes! Bro, said, you this ready? tournament was so sick. Bro, bring me back, man. Okay, so before we start talking about One and skins, I gotta remind you to please head over to shop.thescore.com and check out our merch. We got cool esports hoodies, we got t-shirts in tons of different colors and sizes, and you don't need luck to get these ones, you just need a credit card. <laughs> okay, so these days, One Pixel is Twitch's premier unhinged CSGO streamer. AK Vulcan Rift- Unhinged is a good thing, no? I am pretty unhinged. AK Vulcan, baby, please! Please, baby! Please! Boom! Please, please! There's no way. 
But before he was Twitch's hottest DJ, getting his Instagram raided by an adult film actress, and opening cases strapped. Hello, Alfie. Cause, hope you're doing amazing. To a heart friend of mine. <laughs> great monitor. One was just your average CS diehard, which of course meant that he was obsessed with skins. Of course, I've always loved the game, all aspects of the game. Uh <laughs> Bro, I was so nervous, I swear to God. <laughs> okay, this was later in the interview, because my glasses throughout the whole thing, like, throughout the first half, were, like, fully condensed, you know? I just came out of the shower, we just did the interview at, like, what? It was, like, one hour, and we called at 12 noon or something. Bro, <laughs> my glasses were the whole time. Like condensed, and it was, bro, it was so long, I couldn't see. I knew that it, it like, it shows all the condensation and stuff in the camera. I, I, bro, I felt, I felt so weird, bro. I was sitting there with condensed glasses, bro, not, not sure, like, what to say. Because I never did interview, ever. I've always played the game. Um, you could uh, say that half of my hours in CS, I don't know how, how many hours I have right now, um, is probably just me inspecting skins, looking at skins. In fact, his obsession led him to start uploading videos to YouTube, discussing some- Maybe more than half. <laughs> I may have downplayed it a little bit. Probably th three quarters, maybe. ...of CSGO's rarest and most- Oh, that, bro, the best clip- Bro, sorry, I have to pause. Best souvenir Kato 14 in the game. Yeah, and also proof by Ruffle Monster. One of the people who got me into skins, Ruffle Monster. This is his favorite souvenir gun, favorite Keto 14 souvenir gun. This gun sold, I think it was for like 7,000, 8,000 or something. Absolutely ridiculous. That's an IBP foil. Not a holo, not a non holo, a foil. Goes rarest and most infamous skins. And right out of the gate, it was obvious that Ones' approach to content creation was a bit raw. What? How do I start this? I don't even know. Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> nee, nee, nee. Guys, I have to skip. They got the wrong guy. It, it, this is like, that's not me, is it? He sounds fully different. A pixel here. But thanks to his deep understanding of the- Bro, I'm so happy looking at this. Look, I gained so many muscles since then, bro. Look how weak I look, bro. Jesus. The skin market, his own impressive Vamos. collection, and the fact that he was making content that helped <laughs> his fans make better investments, Oni amassed a small following of other aspiring skin enthusiasts. Man, that shit, I remember, bro. We had, like, bro, every time I uploaded a video, it was, like, the people from Twitter, right? From the trading community always leaving comments and stuff, and they already knew, like, who was who and stuff. It was very, very small circle. Every time I uploaded a video, every time I went live, bro. The old times, man. Skyrocket. Look, we did on Discord, people screenshot. Once he started collaborating. That's how I met Ronnie, bro. Being with larger CSGO content creators, such as Anomaly. And it was Look during it. a meetup in Sweden and Iceland where the CSGO masses got a taste. Oh, I want to be there right now. Bro, Sweden trip and Iceland trip was absolutely busting, man. The Ludus gang chat, like his friend circle, he's got some real, real, real friends, bro. Some funny. Bro, that got his back as well, everything. So, bro, we, and not at one point during the Sweden trip and the Iceland trip, right? We had like any like, you know, weird moments of stuff where like, it was like, oh, like, what is this guy saying? But it was all just fun, bro. Everybody like knew what was going on, man. It was just nice, bro. It was just chill. W friends, bro. For what made One so special? Show him how the Germans do it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's thinking about, oh, god damn. Oh, bro, I remember the time when, the, bro, do you remember the f video of, like, what was it? The clip with Sam's? Does somebody have the link to that chat, quickly? Bro, that pissed me off so much, man. <laughs> no shot. Hey, <laughs> that did pretty well. That's pretty good. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh. That was just not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I look so hunted. Chad, this was Iceland. Hot tub. We had an Airbnb in the middle of nowhere in Iceland, right? And bro, we were sipping some beers. We took some mandarins. It, it was ice all around us. Right next to me, right there, is a sauna. We went from sauna to this little world, like hot tub, back to the sauna. We're just talking about stuff, right? We were thinking about things like Luda and I and Sam's. So we were thinking about starting like a with skin side together, stuff like that, bro. Oh my god, man. We were just like scheming, we were talking about life. God, bro, Iceland trip, Sweden trip, I will never forget, bro. <laughs> That's hella scary. And being exposed to Anomaly's much larger audience. Bro, helped Sam's, by the way, didn't have like hotel room and his flight was so early. He slept in the bench on the Iceland airport, bro. What the hell? on his own audience we said like you can sleep uh, like in our room uh, uh, like on floor or like share bed kinda but like but, uh, he said no i will sleep 
in the bench in the airport. What the hell? On and he did Twitch that. Grow even more. But again, this dude was a bit of an oddball, and he wasn't doing anything particularly original, so what huh? was it that was getting people so into One? Sure, getting signal boosted by a guy with millions of subscribers helps, but it still doesn't explain why people kept tuning in. He wasn't a former pro or an analyst and- Whoa, 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 whoa. My brother wasn't a former pro. Does he not know? You need to do your research, bro. Come on, man. It is what it is. Guys, some people don't know this. CS 1.6. You already know, John Banana. That was me. And people sure as hell weren't tuning in for his gameplay. No, man, I... I, I take a second to focus. I take a second to, like, rethink about this game, and then I and then I will uh, uh, top track from... Uh... Bro, I gotta hit the gem. But that's the remarkable thing about Oni. He didn't need any of that. See, in some ways, the CSGO community is as interested in skins as they are in the game itself. Oh. We are fascinated by them, spend heinous amounts of money oh, to get our hands I on miss the XQC and CS. coolest ones, and even keep track of which ones are popular amongst the pros. And One is the biggest fanatic of us all. His excitement about skins is both unmatched and infectious. Don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if my gold run has been that great recently. I mean, I did unbox the second worst set of cases in second worst set of gloves in CSGO history. That was a, a thing. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! My old mic. Oh my god, bro. It always like crackled when I was too loud. God, this is not real! This is not real! My ears. This is not real! <laughs> He's the average CSGO skin fanboy ascended. He cares about skins more than just about anybody on this earth. And that's what- Ah, uh, my mom. Uh, I mean, <sighs> Blue Jam Karam, it is what it is. Got people watching. He's right. That and his extremely out there streaming persona. Don't disrespect skins that you don't use a lot. Your inventory is your house. It's your safe space. And you have these little children in your house, right? Uh, huh? They're, they're your- <laughs> How did you find this, bro? Like nobody clipped this or anything. How? Uh, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Why is that? Huh? Okay, that sounds holy. Okay, bro. You're like, you have, you know, like. Okay, okay, listen, listen. Eating a banana on banana. Inferno. Eating a donut on donut. Listen, listen, listen. I was going through video ideas. I was in my YouTube face. I was thinking about bangers, right? And then I was thinking, like, you eat the call outs that you're playing at. You know what I mean? Like, you play banana, you eat a banana. Donut, and, and it shows me eating a donut, an ancient question, donut, as much as eating a cat, no, 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 not that one, this, eating a, uh, the of the game. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> they took the dildo part out, <laughs> next one was dildo overpass, I see what you did there, I'm gonna be there right now, oh, Iceland sucked me dry, oh my god, I'm melting right now, I'm melting like a white piece of, by the way, they didn't let me watch this before they uploaded it, the comment section must think I'm dumb as no? Of chocolate. But there is actually one other super subtle reason for Ona's recent rampant popularity. And that is that he started streaming at exactly the right moment. You see, during the pandemic, CSGO's player count exploded. Meaning that there were tons of new fans looking to learn about both the game and its massive world of cosmetics. And with his big personality, One was just that guy. He was funny, he was knowledgeable, and most importantly, extremely funny, may I mention. His stream was a place people could go to watch someone slowly descend into madness by blowing thousands of dollars on cases. Do some quick rolls. I will never do quick rolls. I hate quick rolling. Quick open is one of the most degen, true, stupidest things. Quick open! My bad. I'm opening one more. You are a <laughs> 28 year no. old man going crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm 19 years old. What are you talking about? Come on. No. Yeah. No. And Onis always had an eye for some of the more... In that case, opening with Lude, he made me sell the knife that I unboxed together with... Device. The device knife. Went to a quick sell in that opening. He was like, yeah, but like that was just a memory. And the memory you will always keep forever is the knife you can sell. And I sold it. Aware. Infamous skins. Device was... Oh my god. Device was in my chat and he said like, open case now. Boom. Immediately knife. Crazy. Market, which M9 he was fade. always willing to share some insider knowledge about with the uninitiated. We all know the 5-7 
pattern, no? Let me give you a little brain refresh, just in case. I can't show it for too long because I'm live. Some of you may know this pattern. Some of you have, may have even seen it in real life. The 5-7 Kami with a in the back. We all know this pattern. How much is this uh, pattern worth? Usually round about... Woody, how much were patterns again? <laughs> the what? Yeah, 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 yeah. hundred dollars? A hundred dollars. Honestly, Oh my god. Oh my god. What did you do, Ari? I'm sorry, bro. I didn't get to... Bro, I would have said like... Man. <laughs> bro. Extended uh. beyond the salacious, however. Those who tuned in regularly knew that his real obsession lay with CSGO's rarest items. More specifically, 2014 Katowice Hollow stickers and particular scar pattern blue gems. To translate that into English, One is into skins that cost unfathomable amounts of money. He told me to reach out to him with an offer of 1.2 million in Bitcoin. And I'm not talking about USD, I'm talking about Euros, Why am I which talking converts about? to 1.5 million USD. Why do you look like a he beach boy there, bro? Answered, no. What's the, bro, the haircut? Not interested. 1.2 million <laughs> is low. Eventually, thanks in part to his so wacky we personality <laughs> and his willingness to spend exorbitant sums to keep us all entertained, Ona's popularity outgrew this fairly Oh, nine. Yes. Spark is 1v1. Lost a thousand euros that night. Bro, I thought I had him, bro. I thought I had him. I called him out. I was like, yeah, you're lower rank, bro. I bet I'm better than you, right? Because he posted his highlight clips on YouTube. Bro, that... <laughs> I learned a lesson there. My ego... This night, it got uh, settled down a little bit again. This was tough, bro. This was tough. Memes he and me. clips of his streams spread across the internet like Molly Fire, and One quickly became one of the game's most recognizable representatives. Plus, his stream became one of the go-to places for watch parties, where you could enjoy CSGO's highest level of gameplay with the most insane man in the community. Last chance! <laughs> and Big Pattern Huntsman! Big Pattern Huntsman! That's the cock Pattern Huntsman! Legendary moment, bro. The Vertigo Dick Pattern Huntsman. Bro. Just up. Yes. I know I forget. Oh, one G uh, Nitro, one G Nitro, knife. One G, one G. I was so tilted. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, kick him, bro, kick him. I was, I was, I needed liquid to win. I needed, bro, bro, Nitro. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, <laughs> I bet. Ra -ta 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 -ta. My brain had to think for a second. The thing is, when your entire brand is built around losing your mind and spending insane amounts of money, one-upping yourself can be sort of a challenge. This is why after co-streaming the grand finals of Pro League Season 16, One decided to open up his most expensive items to date. A 2015 oh cobblestone God. souvenir case and a 2014 Katowice stick. Can I skip this part? ...capsule that he got from a wealthy viewer. In Two civic. items that cost more than most people make in months and could turn exponential profits with the right click. So, with many, many thousands of dollars on the line, One did what any sane person would do, and strapped on a heart rate monitor. Cobblestone package from Katowice, 2015. Three, two, one! Souvenir Tiger! Souvenir Tiger! Souvenir Tiger! Souvenir Tiger! Souvenir Tiger! Souvenir Tiger! No! That was a $700 capsule. We unboxed 40 cents. As disappointing as that was, next up was the real deal. A $12,000 capsule that could potentially quit one of on his return on investment if the correct sticker was unboxed. The question was, did Ona have luck on his side? Let my inventory now. Tight note, please. Come I had my life. Three, two, one. Oh, 180. I feel like I lost some years there, no? Like, if, if before this opening, I would have gotten, like, 85. Maybe if I'm lucky. 83 maximum now. 185 hard red. One off. The cheapest sticker of the capsule right next to a Titan. I had you. Yes, poor One missed the Titan Hollow by mere millimeters which of course is just a visual thing but still tragic no as that no was, no no correction it is not just a visual thing if it's one off i was so close to getting it 
One off, bro. It was a couple more pixels. I would have had it. Which it makes me want to open one more. Maybe next one I will get it. It was so close. So close. When you're watching someone else open cases, the outcome almost doesn't matter. For some oh weird my, psychological this reason, guy. humans find a sort of morbid joy in another's misery. And Oni getting the worst possible outcome makes for great goddamn content. Oh, oh. <laughs> Chat. Now just imagine, imagine we open the Cat of 14 capsule, $12,000, and it does that with a Titan and lands on a f nip holo, ah, or a nip non holo, or whatever. Ah, 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 oh my god. Ah. And just to twist the knife, a fan ended up opening one of Onis coveted Titan Hollows just a few weeks later. Here we go. Titan holo, Titan holo, no, Titan no, holo. No, <laughs> so Prodigy, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm so happy for him. I'm happy, I'm so happy, no fun. <laughs> he said <No>. fan. <laughs> Prodigy is like, he's, he's the content creator for longer than me. <laughs> fan. No but there was a silver lining in this whole situation. For obvious reasons, opening a $12,000 case is going to attract some attention. I must admit, I'm a bit disappointed there's Bump not so many stickers bro. on these guns. Look at this gold arabesque, you know? Yeah. No stickers on no. it, dude. Yeah. I mean, at least put an NIP one on there. Owner Pixel will know about that one all too well. What? No. <laughs> no. 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 Thousand dollars down the line. <laughs> Guys, from now on, we only watch, uh, really do. Speaking we of money, only watch this stream. Oni grew and grew, averaging over 10,000 viewers on most days during the Rio Major. And on those days, he gave the people exactly what they wanted. Highbrow skin talk, tons of case openings. Huh? And some absolute- What the fuss? I did, uh, did I open cases during course. Did I? I don't think I did. We just did the- I just had to do the in Civic, uh, Cat 14. During course stream, we only do course stream. I think fucking unhinged commentary. Oh, popcorn! Hopefully helps our students to develop. Oh, I want some. Why did they include that? Warum? And some absolutely unhinged commentary. Oh, popcorn! Oh, I want some. Bro, what is that as well, bro? A car trying to get through, or is it the crowd? Oh, a banana! Eat it! Yes, bro, I can't show this to my mom. I thought I could before it released, before I saw this. What are these clips? What's he doing? Did he fart? He's trying to like push the air away. That's disgusting. Do you know when you eat crisps, chips at home? All the residue goes down into your keyboard. If you have it straight, it all goes into the middle. W A S T, the buttons that you're using. If you have it twisted, it avoids that. It goes around like Matrix. So in a world of <laughs> regular old what? CSGO streams, One is a breath of fresh air. He's one of us, a regular dude who just loves skins and... Hey, 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 hey. We stand true. We stand true to him, bro. You already know. That's a musty chair, a musty chair, bro. Tried Herman Miller? Trash. We're all just along for the ride. Had it since high school. My mom got it off eBay Kleinanzeigen, it's like Crestis in Germany, for free. Got off a family. Back then, it still looked like normal, right? But now, I've had it for like six years, maybe. Seven years. Not even kidding. Went from Germany to... The, to the... Right. And as far as his skill on the server goes, I can't get rid of it. Let's just say he's improving at his own pace. Us? Ah! Oh! Not this, Claire. What the f*** was that then? <laughs> Shut up. Good flush. <laughs> Why is everyone talking when I'm trying to clutch? No, not the. Nice. <laughs> Maybe behind. Go on, go on, go on. Okay, okay. Now the nail is in the coffin. If people thought I was stupid before this clip, now it's now the nail hit the coffin. Why the f am I dodging RL? Oh my. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> shut, shut up! I swear to God, shut up! <laughs> but make no mistake, One is not oh some my. buffoon who got lucky. He played his cards perfectly, rising to the top of CSGO's crowded creator space by making the right moves at the right time. Fame hasn't changed on it though. When he drops thousands on cases, he isn't just doing it for us. He's doing it because, well, he might legitimately have a problem. Was? Titan Holo! Titan Holo! Titan Holo! It's my hobby. If Ronaldo is addicted to playing soccer, are you gonna call him out for that? Is that a bad thing? I don't think so. I love opening cases. Is what it is. 
Sexy Beast, bro. Tight Lolo, you sexy beast, bro, please. Tight Lolo, Tight Lolo, Twins, Tight Lolo, Tight Lolo, Tight Lolo, Tight Lolo, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Spike just, Spike just, oh. <laughs> Jesus. They could have been worse. In a sense, what makes Honest so special is that there's a little part of him in all <laughs> Classic. Of When you truly love CSGO, you love every part of it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. One is a CSGO fanatic in every sense of the word. He and his community share an unrelenting oh my. Uh... connection to six skins, the pro scene, and the pains of matchmaking. One is the quintessential oh CSGO my. fan. And trust me when I say that there is no other esport oh in the world God. that could make him a superstar. It's one thing to see like a, a message a chat message pop up and it's like a username and so on, right? Huh? There's another thing when you actually see someone like holding a sign inside of an arena. I never, 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 ever would have thought that this would turn into something like this, where I get to do what I do. <laughs> oh, no, no, sir. Holy shit, we got the most cigarette chat fans. Yeah, oh I mean, my god. <laughs> oh, that makes you me so happy right bit. now. So you happy. True, bro. Whenever he's co-streaming, no matter who he's watching, doesn't matter who it is. Could be Furia, could be Astralis, it could uh. be Liquid, it doesn't matter. He just starts speaking in the collective first person. Chet, device in the eh? 1v3, he can, do, he can do it for us, like every time. And he gets so worried, Chet, we need this round. <laughs> Chet, we need this, Whoa. this is big for us, Chet. <laughs> He's so good, dude. What do you mean, man? Sometimes it is what, it, bro. <sighs> Boys, W so, video, bro. Hey, but I thought I thought I would you cringe hard. I said, bro, the, I always uh, sometimes cringe out, bro. Hey, cuss, cuss, cuss. Oh, Jesus, what are the comments saying? His enthusiasm is answered to the match, okay. I literally got back into CS. Oh, <laughs> bro. Just because he's been gambling CSKs for five years doesn't mean he's addicted. It's just a hobby. <laughs> My driller. Yes, bro.